Hello guys, welcome back to a bit of everything channel. Um, in today's video, I will be talking about uh, a company called Tesla, uh, Tesla's Model X car. Uh, the Model X is an electrical SUV uh, that has a lot of great features uh, and is probably one of the best electrical cars in the market currently. Uh, so in, with today's video, I'll be uh, talking about a lot of the features that the Model X has um, and how it compares to the standard uh, motor cars that we have currently. And I'll talk about how, how it helps, how it is more efficient and effective when driving and why it is actually one of the, uh, the best electrical cars you can get there in the market. All right, so to start off with, the car itself is, there is, it's a six car door. So we have one in the front, which is actually a boot space. And because it is electrical, uh, the battery pack does sit at the very bottom of the car. So therefore, there's more space within the front itself, uh, as opposed to the normal cars where the motor would be in front. So as we can see here, uh, in the front of the car, there's a boot space and as well as in the back there is boot space as well. Alright, so this is just the first door we have over here and as I open the second, as I open the second door over here, we have what we call the Falcon doors. If I can just have a look, I'll open it from here. This is what makes one of the Model X a very amazing car with its Falcon doors that allow for um, getting into tight spaces and then allowing for maximum uh, comfort when getting into a car. All right. And as we can see within the car itself here, if I just open this door here, this is designed by the style of uh, uh, by actually Tesla's, uh, this was actually designed by Tesla itself. So as we can see, everything within the interior of the Model X um, is replicated by what you would actually see in the real Model X car. All right. Um, so we have the two Falcon doors. I'll open uh, the doors on both sides. As you can see, that's how it is. We do have the spoiler in the back as well uh, as well as the last door space as we open there all right so the car itself comes the car itself does start off as a five seater but can go up to a maximum of seven seater in total um, and what makes the model x very very unique apart from it being electrical is the fact that to get in is very easy and very spacious as well. Now, I know we talk a lot about, I know there's a lot of car companies out there that talk about uh, having a lot of space. Uh, however, it's always on the outside where it looks the most spacious. But when you go inside, ask yourself, do you really think it's as spacious as it can be? Well, as we can see here within the back of the car, because of the Falcon doors itself, it enables uh, people to get in through quite easily as opposed to the normal cars where doors would come out like this. You'd have to, especially if you're big yourself, you'd have to uh, tuck in to kind of get in. All right. At the front of the car, as we can see, we have this very big uh, windshield over here. But what's good about the Tesla is, although it's very uh, wide, the top, itself is a sunroof so there's a bit of a line that divides here and what that does is it blocks out the sun from actually coming in but at the same time uh, giving you really nice view of outside when you're going for a drive with this model x being an electrical car it is very it is extremely fast and one of the great things about the uh, battery uh, and one great thing about the Model X being an electrical car is that it saves you a lot of money on fuel itself um, 
one of a fully charged uh, battery can go up to 600 kilometers and the actual lifespan of the battery itself can go up to 1.6 million kilometers which is a very long distance and much greater than what we use for uh, the motor cars that we have these days and one of the great things about the electrical car is that because it is electrical it's very silent when you drive and it has a lot of power uh, from when you start the car to when you're driving on the road itself so the car itself can go from 0 to 100 kilometers within 2.6 seconds which is extremely fast for a car all right another benefit of the model x as well being an electric car is that the battery pack is in underneath the car so it's underneath the car itself and because the battery is underneath the center of gravity is in the middle so therefore it makes the model x uh, one of the safest cars uh, out there on the market especially when because most of the weight is in the bottom if the car starts to spin at least that's where the center of gravity is as opposed to normal cars when the engine is at the front and especially if you have people uh, at the back the weight is distributed uh, more towards the front as well as slightly in the back it's very hard to control especially when you go out of control or when you spin out of control all right um within the front seat itself there is a 17 inch uh screen tv which essentially controls the whole uh, interior of the car whether it's playing music uh, changing uh, turning on the lights or going autopilot from maps to navigation um, and everything over there as well all right and as we can see it the car itself is amazing to look at All right, to talk a little bit about Tesla. So the company itself isn't actually in the automotive, automotive uh, industry. It's within the battery and uh, the battery industry and in terms of its technological advances of moving forward. And so one of the ways they do this is to, to showcase how they use lithium batteries is through cars as well, as we can see. Um, so normally this Model X goes around about $145,000, uh, this is showing dollars, and there's also a variety of other cars that we see uh, that, that is from Tesla with, within itself, so we do have the Model S, Model 3, and Model Y as well. Alright, as you can see, although my... Uh, my Tesla Model X is a replica of the real one. It it does show the same features and everything like that there. So I got the actual uh, die-cast model on the Tesla site itself. I paid around about, it goes for around about $300. And uh, you get the actual model of the car itself. And here we have a, a logo of Tesla as well. And what's very good about this car is it's not really meant to be played. It's more of a great collector's item, um, which you can showcase in a box as well uh, that you can uh, show to anyone really. All right, this is the box that we have here that, that it came with. As you can see, those are the Falcon doors that uh, go up we have on the top of the box the Tesla uh, name as well as on the bottom box it does have the logo as well all right and then there we have here we are we have another picture of the Model X as well all right I want to leave you with one thought now. Uh, with 
the increasing demands of wanting to switch to electrical cars due to uh, the lack of fossil fuels and the the damage that it has on our environment, we can see that uh, electrical cars will be the future. And as we can see now, with uh, the Tesla being extremely fast, um, very sleek design, and such just an amazing car in general, uh, I just want to leave you with one thought. Imagine if all the other automaker industries in the businesses uh, start producing electrical cars. What do you think uh, can be added onto it that the model, uh, the Tesla cars that don't have? Um, what do you think can be uh, much better? What do you think uh, can be improved on? So my question to you is with the with the demands of electrical cars coming into play not not for a very long time but what do you think other automakers in the business who start producing electrical cars can add into uh the electrical cars that other that the model x or tesla's no. start all right with electrical cars being the future uh, cars to move on to, uh, especially with fossil fuels being extremely hard to get and uh, the carbon footprint that we leave uh, using uh, fossil fuels. What do you think other automakers uh, in the industry of cars can add to uh, Tesla or to electrical cars in general that the Tesla doesn't have? What would make it better? And what do you believe? What do you believe other automakers can improve on in which the Tesla doesn't have yet? I want you to leave your comments in the uh, section below. And thank you guys for watching. And I'll see you in the next video.